What's up guys? I have a knife overview slash I'm gonna be trying to disassemble it a little bit, but this is the FM1 from Cold Steel. Three and a half inch blade and inch overall S35 VN 3.8 ounces. Anyway, this was really something that uh, I wanted to get my hands on because it's like a looks like a really awesome EDC knife. I think they did a great job. They got the counter countersunk screws on the pocket clip, a small pocket clip. So this is kind of reminds me the handle a little bit about like the bug out, but then the thinness of the Benchmade Narrows, but it's not as thin as the Narrows were, was. Like, the Narrows, you can almost like compress the titanium. But this feels a lot better than the Narrows. They got a great stone wash on their knives. This is actually very good grind, too. Uh, let me see if I have some uh, paper to test sharpness. Alright, this is almost like phone book paper thinness. Yeah, so came very sharp. Um, one of the things, it's very satisfying to the sound. Um, it just locks up really good. Um, very easy to deploy and retract. One of the things they did was they have this thumb stud that's uh, shorter on the left side, so I might swap out thumb studs on it. But and I'm pretty sure this is riding on phosphor bronze washers. So, I'm going to try and disassemble it, so let's see how that goes. This looks like T6s. Oh, I don't have my T6, hold on. Alright, i got my T6, so I don't know if any of these, um, if these screws are just for the pocket clip for reverse, or if they actually need to be, um, be taken out. I'm going to just take everything apart. Yeah, very cool that they did these countersunk screws for the pocket clip. Reminds me a lot of Protec. So, those are the only screws, and now. Let's see if this is a T8. Yep, that's a T8. Oh good, it looks like a capture pivot. So this is probably going to be very easy. Yeah, look at that. Nice. So, nice slab of titanium there. Oh, I'm so glad that spring didn't go flying. <laughs> And this, oh, okay, this is kind of like the backspacer, but it needs to be there to catch the the lock. So this is basically like the um, what you call it, Demco's lock. Yeah, basically does the same thing. But yeah, I'm just glad to confirm that this is. Foster Rounds Washers. Um, if you watch my channel, you know I'm a big fan. And let's see if they got. Oh yeah, they have the Teflon. So the the bronze Teflon combo, which is great. The Teflon is on the blade side, which is makes sense. Okay. D shape pivot. 
Very good. All right. Good job, Cold Steel. Still one of the few knives making knives on phosphor bronze washers, so appreciate that. I guess I didn't need to take um, take the screws out on the other side. So what I'm going to do is while I have it here, I'm going to try to put them back in. T6 back. This knife is very easy to take apart, or, or a lot easier than the um, Demco 8020. Uh, if you hadn't seen my disassembly video on that I'll I'll put it in the um, in the cards here so you take a look at that but yeah basically the same exact type of lock so I know they're I don't know if like Demko authorized them to use his idea or like as he was departing cold steel they they let him he let him uh, use one last design of his he basically like Demco basically um, gave them so many lock designs over the years, which I hope he got paid for. I'm sure he did, but I mean, you know. And this actually runs the whole length of the, the backspacer there. Alright, spring is pretty much in there. Put this back on. Man, this this knife has gone to has gone on very very easy. And then these. So no. Centered. A little blade play, so let me solid. Oh man, you can't ask for anything better than that. And I just realized I put the pocket clip on <laughs> wrong. So now it's set up for left hand carry. All right. Perfect. All right, now I want to remove that thumb stud. Still want to protect the thumb stud in case I want to use it again. There it goes. All right, so the thumb stud decent but I don't like how it's not symmetrical so I do have better thumb studs and this actually looks like it might take a bench made thumb stud actually I'll put it in this way nope bench made does not work the hole is too small all right so, see what else I can do here. All right, my trusty tie connect tie connectors. I think these are gonna work good. Yeah, they look better.
ya. Yeah, they look pretty good. And they don't, they do stick out, but it's not too bad. Yeah. So tie them, tie thumb studs for the tie, uh, tie scales. So, yeah. That looks pretty good. Alright. Um, I will tighten these down. Um, they're not tightened yet, but I will tighten them down. And that's all I have. I'll see y'all on the next one.